This video is about persistence. This video is about a man and the machine he created. It's about a 3D printer. Welcome to Eden 3D Ear. And what we do over here is 3D printing. Now what is 3D printing, what it's not, what we do with 3D printing, why our customers love us so much. I will make another video completely for that. This time, this video is about just one 3D printer made here. This video is about my designer, Srinath Sian, who works with me and his passion project, a printer that he built, the Midas. That is Srinath Sian. And he is the one who created a monster of a 3D printer. How does it feel? Srinath is a very silent guy. He is very shy to get in front of the camera, so he did not want to sit in front of the camera and talk about the Midas. But it was too good a story not to be told. Hence, I told him that I will tell the story on behalf of him. A little bit of a background. Srinath has been working here for the past two years. One thing that I know about him is that he is passionate about 3D printing. I did not know the level of passion that he had for 3D printing until when he came and told me that he wanted to build the printer from scratch. So in April 2016, he decided to start working on the printer. Now 3D printer is such a machine that everything is available online. The design, the parts and everything is available online. You can literally order for a DIY kit and make a 3D printer in one week's time. That's what most of them do when they want to learn how to make a 3D printer. But Srinath was the kind of a guy who thought, you know what, I'm not gonna take a design from the internet and make something. Where's the fun in that? He decided to challenge himself to create a design from scratch and make a printer completely based on his new design. Scary. He did not decide to just make a normal 3D printer. He decided to go ahead and take up the highest challenge of building a Delta 3D printer. Delta 3D printer is one of a kind. It's difficult, but I guess that's what made it, made it more exciting for him because it was difficult. It took three months for him to finish the design alone he started to collect the parts to make the 3D printer. He 3D printed most of the parts with our machines over here, the Edisons. And then later he decided to go out there and search for vendors who would help him in CNC milling, laser cutting, a lot of stuff. And the best thing about the internet today, so many parts are available online to purchase the parts that were required for the Delta 3D printer. And after nine months of work in January 2017, he finished the Midas. Have a look. I wanted to name it Kong, but the movie came out after we named it and I did not think it was good manners to change the name. So we decided to stick with the name Midas. It's a pretty strong name. And like John Goodman says in the movie Kong. Monsters exist. We made this 
on the Midas. This on the Midas. This on the Midas. We made even a Benchy on the Midas. Oh, we made this too on the Midas. Now, in the beginning, I said this video is about persistence. The reason I said that because this journey of nine months was not an easy one for Srinath, but it was the best one. Such an adventurous one because him and me, we learned so much in that nine months about each other and also about sheer hard work and passion towards one thing. Four months into the making of the Midas, Srinath quit. He said he doesn't want to do it anymore. I did not question him because it was his printer. Of course, everybody's got their own problems. But there was one thing that I always believed in. You don't start something to not finish it. You start something to finish it, no matter how it finishes. Ugly, good, bad, messed up. You finish it. Because you started it and then you move on to another thing. I don't like giving up on something that's been started out of passion. So I was quiet for a while. I did not want to ask him. I did not want to butt in. After a while, I did ask him. And he told me, uh, I'm just not feeling it. I could understand because, you know, there were so many things that were going wrong about the machine. He was not getting the parts he wanted and everything. And he just, he just completely got diverted and just left whatever that he had done in the corner. I could not take it anymore and I told him you don't stop it once you've started and you've started it because you wanted to make a 3D printer, you wanted to challenge yourself. You should go on. Why did you stop? Is there anything that I can do? Ask me and I will do it. I pushed him for three to four days. Now, like I said, he's a very silent guy. He doesn't respond much. So it was like I was speaking to myself, but it was getting into his head that I was really pushing him and uh, I think he realized that what I was saying was completely true and that's when he resumed the work again after one month. Since the time he resumed, he put in 10 times more hard work into finishing the Midas. He was persistent to go on and to make wrong things right. He was willing to go out there and search for the parts which he did not get online. And he was mentally very strong to know that this is something that is within my grasp and I will do this. He was all of this right from the beginning. But somewhere along the way, he stopped. And probably he was waiting for a push. Because sometimes you could give up on yourself or you could give up on your idea until somebody else comes from the back and says, go do it. And that's where I came in. And I pushed him to go on, do this, and to remember why you even started. And he did. And I was very happy that he listened to me. And he continued it. And he made this monster of a printer, even though he planned to give up half the way. Here's something that I want to tell all of you who started something but never finished it. Who had an idea in your head but never executed it. Who thought, this is too strong for me or this is too big for me. If you start something, even it could start over here as a thought. Finish it. It doesn't matter how it finishes. It could be sad, it could be ugly, it could be bad, it could be messed up, it could be great, it could be successful, it could be a failure. But finish it. The only reason I push you to do that is because there are so many things in this world that we have not yet seen because such great minds have stopped doing it. The ideas will give upon you, but they are man-made. You made them. How could you give upon them? I'm not saying you have to go after every idea that you get in your head. Some might be plain stupid and you should not waste your time on that. But you would know if it's a good idea when you feel it's going to change your life. Now that's the idea that you need to run after. Now I don't know how much the Midas changed Srinath's life, but I'm sure it added a lot of value and it taught him that he is capable of doing something all on his own. And in the end, I like to say that it had been a privilege to witness the making of the Midas for nine months. I had never seen somebody do something on their own, right from the scratch. And now I have, and it feels very good 
to have something create right in front of my eyes by one person. And all of that because he believed in his idea and in himself. My name is Sai Sandesh Markham reminding you that you don't start something to give up. Finish what you've started. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.